We're back. That was an awfully short shortly. Hi, thanks, and welcome to the AWS NAR session for Amazon Incentives. Uh, we're live here at reInvent. Most of us are somewhere around reInvent in Las Vegas, streaming to you. Um, so join with me today. I, so I'm a host. My name is Sydney Sudi. Joined by Robert and Saul. And then we have John Glass and Michelle here to talk, talk about some really cool Amazon incentive stuff. Um, so Robert, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? We can go around. Yeah, sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Robert Saul. I'm the Threat Detection and Incident Response Practice Manager. I look after the Customer Incident Response Team. Super excited to be here. Uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing from everyone here. John, what about you? Yep. Uh, John Glass with Amazon Incentives. Uh, I work on our gift cards and our Prime Memberships team, and it's incredibly excited to be here. Okay. All right. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Michelle Hirwadi, also from Amazon Incentives, and I lead our partner integration team, and our team helps our clients onboard our Amazon gift card on-demand API. Awesome. Awesome. And if I'm not mistaken, you have a booth here at reInvent, right? Yes, we will have a booth very close to the on-air stage, so it'll be set up tomorrow. Uh, we'll have some fun raffle prizes for people who come and learn more about Amazon incentives tomorrow. So come and there'll be uh, a giveaway for a few hundred-dollar Amazon gift cards. So feel free to check it out. We're right next to the booth tomorrow. Awesome. So do you would you both just like to tell us about Amazon incentives? So who are you and what do you want to share with us today? Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, Amazon incentives. So we are Amazon gift cards uh, at scale. So uh, at any scale that you would like to uh, uh, use Amazon gift cards at, with bulk and API, um, we like to say uh, we have one simple job and it's make any company's incentive program, gift card program easy. So that is what we love to do is we have an entire team who does that for our Amazon gift cards. Just going to ask, so... Uh, can you go like take a step one step back from that? So, so you are helping our customers have the incentive programs. We, you have the infrastructure and the mechanisms uh, behind that to make it easier for them. Is is that is that really what you're doing for customers? Yeah, so we can help be the foundation of their incentives program. So they may have an incentives program. They're looking for a gift card provider or someone who can offer prime memberships at scale. Um, so if you think of, okay. there's Amazon gift cards uh, where you and I get birthday gifts, right? So that's like Amazon retail gift cards where uh, we get birthday gifts. And then there's Amazon business. Um, and then there's Amazon incentives where we have no limits of the scale that we can give you. So you can, in a, wow. in a simple checkout, you could get 50,000 Amazon gift card claim codes. Um, you could upload the uh, Excel to us and issue out up to 50,000 Amazon gift cards at once. That's our bulk side. And then our API side has no limits to it. Um, so you can programmatically uh, administer Amazon gift cards. You can issue them and activate them all in, um, all in on demand. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah, we've got a we've got a short video to just explain a little bit more about Amazon uh, incentives. So if that's ready to play, would love to play that if possible. Yeah. So so while they're figuring that out, so so John and Michelle, what is so from a customer perspective, as as they're sitting here watching this, what is like the one thing you want them to know, right? Because, you know, building customer loyalty, building customer trust, I mean, this is a huge tool for customers that customers can use to do that. Like, like how do you, how do you want demo, customers to think about this steps and think about what they're doing? Oh, there it is. Hey, video's on. Great. Uh, Robert, I'll come back. I'll answer that question. Let's, if, the video, yeah. if the video's ready, I'll answer that question when we come back. To the yeah, Amazon let's do this card API surface. The Amazon gift card API powers the Amazon incentives, Amazon cash, and in-store gift card purchases. To get started, you would need to set up an You're Amazon rather, incentives that's, API that's account to obtain um, Sorry, uh, wrong video. Um, I'll, I'll get to that one. Let me, so, that, that goes actually, into the shell part. Yeah, uh, that is totally 
fine. Um, I think John, maybe we should just jump onto the demo yeah. right now. That's yeah, we okay. can just jump on. Let me answer Robert's question. Yeah. So, for anyone for anyone on listening Absolutely. or who or who comes uh, to our booth, just hear that there are multiple ways and multiple use cases that you can use Amazon incentives. So, customer acquisition, employee recognition. Um, if you're looking to drive research or surveys, um, so all of us like behavior is changed when you incentivize it. Uh, and if you're running any type of campaigns and you're looking to have a performance lift in that, um, use an incentive to do that and uh, you will drive the performance that you're looking for your campaign. And also for anyone who's listening, it is available no matter what size of company that you work for. So if there is a small startup wow. and you're looking to incentivize your employees even for this holiday season, We'd love to have a conversation with you. If you're a CEO running a multi-international company, uh, we have Amazon incentives in all the marketplaces um, that gift cards are available in. So we can help you around the world also. Um, so at any scale, feel free to reach out to us. So Flexibility, agility at scale. That's amazing. Yep. Worldwide. That's cool. I'm looking yeah. for the demo. Good. Okay. okay. Yep. Go ahead, Michelle. Yeah. So I think we can jump on the demo. So I'm going to share my screen. Um, please let me know and you can see the screen. Oh, good. Um, all, good. Yeah. Okay. all right. So uh, before we jump in, uh, this demo today is really going to be focused on how to onboard to our Amazon gift card on demand API. We, we like to call it ATCOD and how to make your, um, your first API test call. Uh, but before we jump in, um, I do want to share with everyone here our Amazon Incentive homepage, uh, which you can get to uh, at amazon.com forward slash incentives. Uh, this page gives you really great information, um, a little bit more about our Amazon Incentive program, the products that we offer, um, our customer use cases and testimonials. And of course, there is a whole section on API, which what we're going to talk about today. Um, as John mentioned, there is no limit to API integration. Um, and to get started, you do need an Amazon Incentive API account, as well as a unique partner ID to get you started. And the easiest way to do that is just contact us button here. It will take you to the contact us submit form, which the information will go to John and a sales team. And then they will work with you to get your Amazon account set up as well as your partner ID. Um, so now for getting back to the homepage, just very quickly, another great resources that I wanna point out is our Amazon developer, developer portal. Um, really awesome um, resources for anyone who is onboarding to AGCOD and trying to build their integration to us. Uh, this reference, a lot of information that you would need um, anywhere from the API surface information itself that has information on the endpoints where you can um, place your API calls to. Uh, security and keys, uh, we do require that all API requests to AGCOD to be authenticated by an AWS signature. Um, and also a section dedicated to all of the products that the AGCOD platform actually supports. And in each of those sections, we have sample API code, um, information on the different API type calls that you can call for that products, um, and limitation on minimum, maximum uh, gift card amount that you can create or activate. Um, so with that being said, um, I do want to jump in to our demo. Um, in addition to your Amazon account API, or I'm sorry, Amazon API account and your partner ID, you are also going to be provided with a link to our user portal. So this user portal, uh, think of it as a one-stop shop for you where you can manage your onboarding progress, where you can manage your API access keys, um, as well as where you can fund your accounts to be able to place API calls to the production environment. Um, when you log in, as you can see here, we have a pretty handy uh, onboarding progress tracker. Uh, this tracker will actually uh, tells you each step in sequential order what you need to do to be able to progress through your onboarding journey and get to the API production call. So I'm going to stop right there. Um, and we're just going to show you how to make your first API test call. Um, so you can see we have a demo account here that we have already set up and provisioned for this demo. So the next step is key generation. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, we do request that all API 
um, calls made to Aegis COD to be authenticated. And you can generate your access and secret keys through this portal. So I'm going to go over to that. So you can see you can generate either a production or a sandbox key. Uh, just like any other AWS keys that you may have used in another AWS product, um, the handling of this key is very important. So we do ask our clients to rotate their keys every 180 days. And also please make sure that um, these keys are not being exposed to any public forum just to make sure that your system as well as your account funding you know stay safe as they realize um, on how secure the, the handling of these two keys are so we're going to generate access key all right so one thing to note um, just like a username and password, when you generate a GCOD credential, it will generate an access key ID as well as secret access key. Um, keep in mind, the secret access key will only be generated once. So I always like to have my notepad handy. Um, can you guys confirm that you can see my notepad? Just make sure that. Yeah, we can see it. Awesome, okay. So, okay, we'll try that again. Okay, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna copy this. And I'm going to add it in there. And then I'm also going to copy the access key ID. Okay, very cool. So now we can close this. I also like to keep uh, a note of my partner ID. So this is another piece of information that I would need to make my API call early uh, later on. All right, so now we have all of this information. Okay, so now I'm going to um, navigate over to my Postman API platform. So I'm going to be showing how we can construct an API test call using this platform. Um, the Aegis COD only supports the HTTP POST call. So I'm going to choose POST. And then the next up, we actually need an endpoint. So at this point, I'm going to generate or uh, navigate back to our uh, product developer guide, which is comes very handy to get information around endpoints, um, API syntax, and whatnot. Um, so from this page, as you can see, I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. Um, we provide the best base endpoint URL for both sandbox and production. There are three different endpoint URLs, one for North America, one for Europe and Asia, and one for Far East. And it really depends on your country of operation. So we, our demo account is a US marketplace-based account so i'm going to grab this endpoint url and i'm also going to make note of this region because this is an information that i would also need um, later on all right so i'm going to paste that at base endpoint url here um, and to complete this to make it a full endpoint uh, we also need what we call the canonical url a canonical url actually tells our agcod platform um, exactly what api calls that we're trying to hit so for this example, I'm trying to generate a gift card claim code using a create gift card API. So I'm going to add create gift card um, appended to the base URL. Okay, so we're moving on to um, authorization. So as I mentioned earlier, we are um, authenticated all of our requests using AWS signature. Um, so this is where my access key and secret key comes in. So I'm going to copy my access key. Oops, sorry. And my secret key. Okay, make sure I'll grab everything there. All right. And then moving further down, uh, we'll do, we will also need to fill in the east region for this and the name of the surface that we're trying to call, which is HCD surface. These two information are also available in our product developer guide. Yeah, so now we're actually ready to start constructing our main API call. I'm gonna be using the XML language for this example. Um, and again, um, back to our handy reference here, um, I'm gonna be navigating to the product section. So this, um, Product Developer Guide has a really good information for each of the products that we offer um, around the required parameters that we need to pass and the limitation and what's optional, what's required. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and create gift card 
request API. Um, and as you can see here, there are a list of parameters. Some of them are required, some of them are optional, um, as well as guidance around the limits of the nomination of the gift card that you can create using the uh, create gift card API based on your marketplace. So it basically tells you what's the minimum and the maximum of gift card amount that you can create through our create gift card API. And scrolling down a little bit further. Um, so this is where actually I need this one. Uh, it is an example of the API syntax that you can copy to, to generate your create gift card request API. So I'm going to copy and paste that. Um, there are four required parameters that needs to be passed on to our API service um, for create gift card request API. And those are creation request ID, partner ID, uh, currency code, and amount. So partner ID is, if you guys remember, is what I copied from our API portal user portal earlier. And then the creation request ID is really just a 40 characters or less alphanumerical character um, that acts as a unique identifier for each of your API calls. So I'm going to add that in, in here. Um, changing this to USD because we're in the US marketplace and I'm going to keep the amount at $1. And then we're going to send it. And there you go. We have a successful API call. And in an instance, you will get a gift card claim code that your customer can redeem later on. So, wow. Yeah. So that's yeah. <laughs> just as easy as that. And that's you've already tested your first API call to AGCOD. So if we could just go back just for a second when you started, I mean, uh, walking okay. it through, what customers what customers need to be looking at this? Well, like, like what what is the the customer that you're talking to right now with with these uh, with this demonstration? Sure. Yeah. Um, John, jump in as well. Um, but you know, our customers ranges from small to medium, large, uh, B two B. So these are corporation who wants to probably um, generate Amazon gift card. Um, on demand for maybe an incentive program in their company. Um, and also Amazon um, Aegis gift card on demand also powers our brick and mortar businesses where it actually powers the transaction behind um, in-store gift card purchases. So if you go to a grocery store, you grab an Amazon gift card off the rack, you need to go to the cashier to activate it. Uh, behind it is the Amazon gift card on demand technology as well. Um, so a wide range of customer. Um, and I, so I'm going to let John jump in here because that's he, he talks to a lot of customer as well every day. So John, any addition to that? Yeah, anyone who would want hands-free uh, gift card operations. So instead of having to do anything manual, uh, just have a, a hands-free API set up so that when a, if an account opens or if someone completes a survey, that it's automatically triggering an API call to then issue the gift card directly to uh, your customer. So all of that can be automated. Wow, this is incredibly powerful and really neat tool to do, to do exactly that. To reach, to, you know, the code business is thinking about scale. I mean, this, this really changes the game. Uh, thank you for coming on and sharing this with us. Do you, either of you have any closing thoughts that you'd like to share? Um, no, I think um, that is that. Thanks for um, having us here. Um, and if you are already, um, if you're interested, please definitely contact us through the contacts form, but if you're already on your onboarding journey and need help, you can always contact us at incentives-api at giftcardsamazon.com. It's actually right here, if you guys still see my screen. Um, but yeah, thanks for having us here. Uh, John, anything from you? Thank you very much for having us. It's great to be part of the community. Where's the booth again? It, it will be you. right to your right, I think, Robert, okay. right around the corner, right around that oh. post. So in the Venetian, in the Venetian, First floor, um, right next to uh, right next to the, the parking area. Casanova Foyer. Casanova Foyer. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us.